Right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? We got some bloody full-on things to talk about, ladies and gentlemen. Things we need to cover. Things that haven't been covered this week, this year, ever in my entire life, ladies and gentlemen. I need to talk about them right bloody now. It's time for the Butterfield News Broadcast Service System to hit the music. In financial news this week, every dickhead and his dog, you know, Googles themselves at some point. And then recently I was sent a message by someone called Lachlan Fairbarn, right? Lachlan Fairbarn, who I happen to know, uh, and, and I've got to know him quite well over the last couple of years. He's a good dude. He sent me something that only people who are on the internet ever seem to give a shit about, and that is your net worth. Now when I say Lachlan sent me this, he put it on his story and I'm just trying to make him out like a cunt. Lachlan sent me this, trying to show off his net worth. And this is what was interesting for me because I know I know that I probably am going to Google my net worth here in a moment. But according to Social Blade, I make 32000 between $32,000 per year and $500,000 a year through uh, the old YouTubes. Now, I would like to just point out that that's completely incorrect. Fuck me, I wish it was not incorrect, but I get everything demonetized, so that's why I put ads in front of videos and all that type of shit to try and actually make some cash. But anyway, also, $32,500,000 a year, that's everyone my age is making something around that, in between that. That's a massive fucking gap. Yeah, mate, he makes about, you know, $150 a year or $1 million, somewhere in the middle. So according to Lachlan Fairbarn, he makes $9 million a year. And then I went down this weird rabbit hole. I started searching all the people I know. Lewis Spears, $47 million a year, right? Luke Kidgel, $73 million a year, kid. You're on fire. Frenchie, my good pal Frenchie, he makes... 93 million dollars a year. So anyway, I hit Frenchie up to find out how he makes his millions. Isaac, thanks for having me. Uh, pretty simple how I made my money. Apart from selling drugs, uh, obviously I sold a lot of drugs. So, yeah, just selling drugs. And um, usually the school kids, because they don't know the price of uh, pingers, so you, you can get a better deal. What was the question? Anyway, in bushfire news, the ravaging fires that have hit Australia over this summer period continue. But thankfully, thankfully there's someone who's come to the rescue and that is Insta whores everywhere. Yes, that's right, Isaac. Well done. An Instagram celebrity whore, celebrity whore, she has decided to send people nudes for every $10 that they spent donating to the fires. Now, this sounds like a great idea off the bat and, and it absolutely is a great idea. I think this is fantastic using your, 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 your rig for good, not evil. I think, well done. Kaylin Ward is her name. She's 20 years old. I bet you didn't think you'd be doing that at 20. Uh, but she's also known as the naked philanthropist. Uh, and also for having large bosoms. Here's the amazing thing. She's raised over $1 million for the Fire Relief Fund. So bravo, you big titted hoe bag. You're absolutely killing it. That's fantastic. She sends you nudes. You donate nudes. She sends you nudes, you donate to the country, fucking fantastic, everyone wins, and then Instagram, the pricks at Instagram, delete her Instagram. Why? She's been a nude chick showing off a gash for cash, and you fuckers over there in Silicon Valley thinking you're all high and mighty, fucking Zuckerberg being a big turd again, decides, nah, she can't show off her titties for cash, that's fucking bullshit. What do you think this is? Twitter? No fucking way, bro. That's not happening. So he puts his foot down on the old titty, squeezes that milk out, and says no more. So she's lost her Instagram, but she has done an amazing thing. So naked philanthropist, good shit. But she wasn't the only Instagram hobag celebrity to go through this this week. She also was along the alumni of Instagram. She was joined by Tammy Hamburger, who she decided to put up all the sales from her site, and good on her, uh, but she decided to promote it with a photo of her on a yacht with the tits out. And I don't just mean tits out, I mean a wet t-shirt, full nipples akimbo. Now good on her, like, as I said, good on her. She's raising money and shit. But I fear that Instagram people are uh, doing this less for the fires and more for social brownie points than anything else. I don't think a lot of these Instagram people really give a shit about people down in Gippsland who are trying to recover from these horrible events. 
I don't think they do. I think they just want people to, to like their post and comment on it saying how great they are. I mean, that's just a hunch. Maybe I'm completely incorrect. But anyway, get your tits out, raise the money, good shit. And I mean, honestly, if they really thought about it, they could just use all the jizz from the young blokes jacking off over their photos over the last few months just to put the fires out for good. Still on the fire news, and Peter, the biggest beast of shit in the entire universe, has gone out of their way once again to annoy people and just be general assholes by posting this photo they made of the great Australian nation on a barbecue burning with the caption, your craving for meat is grilling the planet, go vegan. Or in other words, hey Australia, it's your fault your country's on fire. It's nothing to do with the arid climate we live in in summer, it's nothing to do with climate change, it's nothing to do with, you know, people lighting fires, 200 people were arrested, it's nothing to do with extra hot days, or greenhouse gases, or the, or the, the massive amounts of fuel on the ground, or greenies, and all that type of shit. No, it's merely the fact that you enjoy eating steak. That's the only reason that these fires are happening. Fuck you, Peter. You pieces of shit. Fuck you to the moon. Eat as much meat as you want this fire season. It's going to have zero effect on the planet. And this is the only way that Peter remains in the public light at all is by pissing people off. Vegans, this is why people do not like you is because people like this come out in direct conjunction with everything you say. They stand for you. They stand by you. And they say this type of shit. Fuck me. On the topic of vegans, it's now illegal for you to fire someone from a job because they're a vegan. That's discrimination now. They're under the same protection as a religion. Now, judging someone based on the color of their skin or, or their gender or their sexual preference, something they can't change, that is discrimination. That is horrible. But just because of their diet? The decision was made after a worker said he was fired for raising concerns that his employer's pensioner fund was being invested into companies that involve animal testing. Which animal, which I get, animal testing sounds horrible, but also we wouldn't have so many amazing pieces of medication or vaccines or anything like that if they didn't do these testing on rats. So fuck rats. Animal testing in some cases isn't that bad. Now I think that's rather silly. In 2020, people predicted that we'd have flying cars. That we'd have the ability to live on the moon. That we could talk through our brains to each other. But no. We now have veganism as a religion. Broccoli, spinach, beetroot, lettuce. Be a good motherfucker. Peace the Middle East, me dick stinks. And I'll see you all tomorrow night for another video. Have a good day. Goodbye. Au revoir. Make sure you subscribe. Bye.